taught him how to walk. And he would follow me to death if you asked. It would be better if you took me instead. How am I supposed to explain this to Sarah? You haven't failed me yet, Lord. But I'm out of ideas. So I'm counting on you to provide and deliver. It was about eight years ago that I walked by a rundown crack house with graffiti all over it. And it was an eyesore in our neighborhood, but we had a vision, turn the crack house into a coffee house. And after several years of praying and rezoning and building, we opened our doors on National Coffee Day, March 15, 2006. And just two years later, Ebenezer's was voted the number one coffee house in DC by AOL City Guide. Well, we built the coffee house because we wanted a place where the church and community could cross paths. See, as I read the Gospels, I realized that Jesus didn't just hang out at the temple, he hung out at wells, and wells were natural gathering places in ancient culture. Coffee houses are postmodern wells. So every day we serve hundreds of customers, and we also do a couple Saturday night services in our performance space. But here's the backstory. We shouldn't own this building. We, we found out after we purchased it that four parties had offered more money for it and two of them were real estate developers. And, and the truth is we didn't have the money. When we signed the contract, we had 30 days to come up with a 10% down payment or the contract would be null and void. So we emptied our savings account, made phone calls, and two days before the deadline, we were still $7,500 short. I mean, all we could do at that point was pray, and God answered. The day before our down payment was due, we got two checks in the mail from two different people that didn't even know about our need. Those two checks totaled exactly $7,500. Now here's a lesson I've learned. When God gives a vision, he always makes provision, but he usually gives us just enough, just in time. Just like Abraham, it's you.